On Saturday, December 17, 2016, the Survive or Thrive organizers and families enjoyed a day full of fun yet informative activities at our 10th workshop. The workshop took place at El Arca in East Los Angeles, California. We appreciate the collaborative efforts of the organizers, families, participants, volunteers, and sponsors. We are fortunate to be sponsored by Southern California Gas Company, El Arca, and Fiesta Educativa. We started off the morning with an icebreaker called Interpreting Truths. Participants listened to a story and answered several true or false questions. Through this activity, participants realize the importance of being unbiased and how the same story can be interpreted in different ways. See how well participants did on our YouTube channel. Following the icebreaker, everyone learned from Disability Rights California advocate, Ms. Jerry Ward, about the eligibility requirements for Supplemental Security Income, SSI, and its state and federal funding sources. Ms. Ward also answered individuals' questions about their unique situations. See parts of the informative discussion on our YouTube channel. Next, we gathered for a commemorative group photo. Photos are always memorable, and this one is no exception. Then our lunch consisted of Subway sandwiches and scrumptious brownies. Diversity consultant and CEO Dr. Jomihua Bullock then included students, parents, organizers, and volunteers in a thought-provoking discussion. It focused on current disability-related statistics and how students can express their needs when requesting their accommodations. She also emphasized the importance of mentorship and relayed her experience as a first-generation university student earning her Ph.D. Subsequently, Dr. Bullock reflected upon the assets individuals with disabilities can bring to the table. Watch our YouTube video with highlights from this discussion. A special acknowledgement to Dr. Bullock for gifting participants and organizers with autographed copies of her children's book, Am I Half Giraffe? A Multilingual Book for Children. Parents and students were then separated into groups. Students practiced budget management skills as they brainstormed how much to spend on daily expenses when living on an SSI monthly income. In addition to gaining a sense of the cost of daily living, students and organizers also discussed simple ways of making their homes more accessible. Students felt items such as a money labeler, a talking color identifier, a mesh bag for washing laundry, and raised dot stickers for tactile labeling. Watch students' curiosity in action come to life in our YouTube video. Meanwhile, parents had the opportunity to ask disability-related questions and address their concerns with organizers. Topics included being a visually impaired mother, coping with discrimination, and promoting self-reliance. In addition, organizers spoke about the impact of their personal experiences on daily life. We appreciate the generosity of Louis and Marie Herrera's ongoing raffle prize donation. The day concluded with an SOT student, Naomi Caceres, winning the long-awaited raffle prize for two consecutive workshops, a $50 iTunes gift card. We are grateful to all who attended and look forward to seeing you at our next event.